Hey guys, Quinn here from Market Graphics Tech. Got a, a, another quick tip for you in Plan 3D. One which is a little bit tricky until you see how it's done, which is creating a spiral staircase. Just a simple one, it wraps around the side of a tank like this. So what I've done over here is I've just drawn a line that comes with a quadrant, which is 800. And then on the quarter side, I've drawn another line, which comes off, which is also 800. At the bottom of here, I've just got two circles, one which is 25 radius, and the other one at the top is also 25. Don't worry about the one at the top for now, I'll explain about that one in a sec. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to use my helix. This can get a little bit tricky this side, because what I'm going to do is use my shift right click, open up my object snap override, center, and I'm just going to get it so that if you look carefully, you can actually see that it's snapping to the origin point, which is in the center of the tank at the bottom. And we're going to come near to the center, which is the end point. Snap it there. Snap my next section on the same, so my top and my bottom is the same height. Take my turns. And make sure that my turns is to 0 0.25. Remember, this is decimal, so meaning it's going to be a quarter turn. And I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to give it a height. Now, this is the reason why I've got the bottom quarter set at my length and my top quarter set at my length. So now I don't even need to measure or type in any numbers, I just snap from the one end point to the other end point, which makes our lives faster and easier. So this gives us our path. Now, depending on how you used to um, AutoCAD you are, and especially in the 3D, you may see where I'm going with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here at the bottom, and I'm going to change to my box primitive, and I'm going to type in, let's say, 250, by 800 I could just use a snap there if I wanted and then give it a height of let's say 25 enter nice now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this spiral or the helix I'm going to use a copy command go from that center point move it up to that center point. So that center, so that is just 1000 up. You could also have just told it to copy a thousand up in the Z. The reason for this being is what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my extrude, use the drop down and go sweep. And I'm going to sweep this top circle that I made across that path. You notice that the path that that circle was not actually aligned because you don't need to do that uh, to align it with the path you just have to sweep it create the system and it can sweep around for the next one I'm going to use my extrude and for my bottom circle I'm just going to accept it and extrude up to the center. You could, if you wanted to, also extrude it a thousand up. Just to make it look nice, I'm going to go to my primitive shapes again, and I'm going to go sphere. Now what I'm going to do is, if you're battling like myself to get the center snap, shift right click to bring up your object snap overrides, and let's go center. So I went to the center point over there to my quadrant. Nice. Now it's going to blend nicely. Now what I'm going to do is go to my array commands. Now you probably will see your array still in the rectangular array. But what we're going to do is drop it down and go to our path array. I'm going to select my object that I want to array. Which I'm also going to select my line going up. I'm also going to select my circle in this case. Sorry, not my circle, my sphere. Accept by right clicking and then select my path. How cool is that? Sometimes not the most accurate way of doing it, 
but it does get your point across as to what it is. So for just display purposes, this is the perfect way of doing it. It's quick, it's fast, and it's easy. Thanks guys, I hope that helps you guys. Have a wonderful day. Cheers, bye.